In this video, we will show you how to replace your front headlamp assemblies. Let's get started. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing we have to do to remove the grill from the area is to make our way along the top. You're going to be looking for four locking tabs. I'll show you what one looks like. The area that you're looking for is this right here. It looks like a square and has a little slot in it for a flathead screwdriver. On the other side of that, you'll notice that it has two locking clips. It's important to note because if you can't turn this part to unlock it, you can also generally make your way behind and squeeze this to release it. I already have this one out of here because I showed you it already. To release these side clips, you can either use some curved pliers and get inside there to squeeze the two tabs, or gently make your way in between the headlamp assembly and the grill itself and gently pry it. Do the same on the other side. Once you have each of those broken free, you'll find directly under them one more tab on each side. Carefully get in between and gently separate it. Let's move along to our bottom tabs. Now we're gonna have to make our way underneath the bumper inside of this lower grill area. You're gonna find three more of those tabs, one on each side and one on the center. Go ahead and give them a little twist and separate them. If you were to find that you were having an issue turning these with a flathead screwdriver, you can also use the backside of a 3 8 drive extension, the square port. There we are. Let's move along to the center. And then our last one. Now that I have all of them broken free, I'll carefully remove the grill. Now that we have the grill out, we're gonna continue on to removing this trim panel from underneath the headlight assembly. To remove this, carefully grab onto this area and pull it outwards. Once you do, it's going to release. On the back side here, there's a tab that goes straight in, so be careful not to break that off. There's that tab I talked about. Set this aside. Let's continue on to the wiring harness for the headlamp assembly. To remove this, you would just want to come right inside this area here and press on the locking tab. You can do this by hand or with a small pocket screwdriver. Once you do, separate the wiring harness. After you have it disconnected, take a peek at the wiring harness. If you see any funny colors, that's corrosion and it would have to be dealt with. Ours look fine, so I'll set it aside. Now the next thing you're going to do is move along to your four 8mm headed mounting bolts. You'll find that you have two up along the top, and then two that you'll have to find from underneath the front bumper. We're going to do the bottom two first, and then we'll make our way up to the top for the final two. From under the vehicle, on either side, you'll be able to find the mounting bolts. You'll find one that comes through from the front towards the rear, and then if you were to follow that towards the outer aspect of the bumper, you'll find the second eight millimeter headed bolt. Remove the pair. There's one.
Now, since I always do headlamp assemblies as a pair, I'm gonna go over to the other side of the vehicle and remove my two lower bolts as well. Let's make our way back up top and remove our last two eight millimeter headed bolts. Grab onto that headlamp assembly, give it a wiggle, and remove it from the front of your vehicle. Now that we have it out of there, the next thing we want to do is remove our two clips because we will be reusing these. To remove these clips, you're going to want to pay attention inside this area. You'll find that it has a locking tab. Generally, you can just twist it until you find it. It's right there. I'll give it a little squeeze with some pliers and then carefully pull this out. We'll do the same to the other one. There it is, friends. The next thing you are going to want to do, if you're going to be reusing your original bulbs instead of replacing them to put into your new headlamp assembly, is to remove them from the original. We'll start with the high beam area here. Typically for these, you would just want to squeeze this area here and then pull it down. Go ahead and grab that bulb, give it a twist counterclockwise. We'll slide it right out of there. The next thing you want to do is give it a quick inspection. Inside is where you're going to find the filament. You want to make sure it doesn't look like it's broken. Also look at the coloration of the bulb itself. If it looks like it's hazy or burnt in any way, just go ahead and replace it. I'll fix that seal. Now we can set this one aside and do the same over here. Quick inspection, set that aside as well. We'll continue on. To remove these bulbs, you just want to carefully grab onto it with gloved hands. We'll pop it right out of there, give it a quick inspection. All that yellow paint that you see on there should be on this. This is part of the directional bulb. If it's not still yellow, it's a good idea to replace it. We'll continue on to the marker lamp here. Remove that 194 bulb. Give it an inspection, set it aside. Okay, now it's time to get ready to install our new headlamp assemblies. Let's have a look from the back side. You'll notice that typically the new headlamp assemblies are going to have bulbs in the back. These are considered test bulbs. You're going to want to replace them with either the originals or some brand new bulbs, whatever is your preference. Now to get these out of here, it's going to be pretty much the same process as removing the originals. You would just come underneath the tab here, pop that off. Grab that bulb, turn it counterclockwise. Set it aside. Now you can install that new bulb. We'll take it, have it in a counterclockwise position, kind of diagonal. Turn it so it's straight up and down. It should be locked in on all three ears. Connect in the wiring harness. After that, the process would be the same for the rest of your bulbs. Now that we have the bulbs in there, let's pay attention down along this side. We had a bolt that came through the side of the fender in through the headlamp. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that we put one of these clips on here. When you put it in, you wanna make sure that you have this raised area facing towards the inside of the headlight. Line up that hole. Let's get this over to the vehicle. Now, before we go ahead and put our headlamp back into position, let's make our way to each of these clips. We'll just pop those right out of here. You can use a screwdriver for that. Set that aside. Once you have it out of there, you can put in your brand new clips. Looking at the clip, you can tell that you have a raised edge here. That's where the threaded area is. That needs to be facing on the inside. So you have the blank area or the hollowed out area facing towards the front where the bolt will go through. Now it's time to get the headlamp assembly into the vehicle. 
Before we slide it in there, let's have one last look at the backside. This area right here is the adjustment point. So once you have it fully installed, you're going to want to make an adjustment to align the headlamps. And this is where you'd go. You can either turn this clockwise or counterclockwise to raise or lower the beam. Carefully slide it into position, being careful not to damage your paint. Now we can start in both of our upper mounting bolts. Once we have each of these started in, we'll carefully get underneath the vehicle, start in the lower two bolts, and snug the lower ones first. Now from underneath the vehicle, before we start in either of those bolts, we're going to go ahead and remove our clip and install our brand new one. Once it's in there, go ahead and start in that mounting bolt in the front and then the one on the side. Once they're all started, snug them up. Let's make our way up to the top and tighten those two as well. Give it a wiggle to make sure it's secure. Continue on to your headlamp wiring harness. You're going to want to make sure it's secured to the body here. And then also connect it in. Press it in, listen for a click, give it a tug to make sure it's secured together. Move along to your trim piece. We'll have a look from the back side. You can see that you have two square areas where your locking tabs need to go into. Go ahead and put them in there and then we'll slide it into place in the bottom of the headlamp. Now when you do this, you want to make sure you have all three of these areas lined up with their corresponding holes. Once they're lined up, Press it in. Now if you're replacing these as a pair, the process would be the exact same thing for the other side of the vehicle. Once you've done that, continue on by putting on your grill. Now on the front of the vehicle, you remember we had a whole bunch of locking tabs that held that grill in place. We're going to remove them from the body of the vehicle and transfer them to the grill. To do that, you can grab onto the two tabs located up top and down bottom and remove it. Once you have all of those out, we'll slide them into the grill and then slide the grill into place. Now it's time to take those clips and put them in place in the grill. This is going to be very simple overall. You just take it and then slide it all the way over. Do the same to all. There's four across the top and three across the bottom. Once you have all of those in there, we're going to carefully slide the grill into place, making sure that we align all of our alignment pins with their corresponding holes. Once you feel as though you have all of them lined up, we're going to continue on by slowly pressing this in, being very careful not to damage the grill. Give it a wiggle to make sure it's completely secured to the vehicle. Okay friend, we showed you how to install your headlamp assembly. At this point, you want to make sure you test its functionality. Make sure all the bulbs work. After that, do a quick alignment of your headlights so you know that you're aiming down the road properly. Aside from that, thanks for watching. Now we're going to get the vehicle ready to aim the headlights. Start with the tire pressure, making sure all four tires are set at the appropriate pressure. Remove any excessive weight that's not normally in the vehicle. Find a wall that you can drive up to where the ground is level. Measure 25 feet away from that wall and mark the ground. Drive your vehicle up to that mark. With the headlights off, look for the center dot in the headlight lens. 
Measure from the ground to that center dot. You can use a ruler to help you out. Transferring that measurement to the wall, making a mark with some tape. On the driver's side, measure down four inches, putting another piece of tape. For the passenger side, you only need to measure down two inches. Now turning the headlights on, it is easier to do this at night or in a dark area. Locating your headlight adjuster and using a Phillips head screwdriver, turn your adjuster one way or another to bring the headlight up or down. Once the headlight is adjusted to the tape mark on the wall, move on to the next headlight. If you're confused because the beams seem to blend together, you can always have someone stand in front of the other headlight while you make your adjustments for that one. Now your headlights are aligned and you're all set to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.